Alright guys, welcome to Kyoto. Check it out guys, it's the Yasaka Pagoda. It's so beautiful. It really has that Jap Japanese art into it. Out. There's really lots of people down here. I think this is where you get your souvenirs from. After walking for some time now guys, what I noticed of the country in Japan is that it's a very clean country guys. Not even a single litter I came across in the road. The main road, the streets, fantastic guys. Really a clean country. People in Japan really know how to maintain their cleanliness. Alright guys, what I can say about Japan, it is one of the safest countries guys. Look, I'm walking out in the middle of the night, it's about 12 in the morning right now. And I've not seen anyone who's very intimidating. Kyoto is a safe city. So if you're traveling to Japan, this is just basic common sense but this is one of the safest uh, countries I've walked in compared to the one I did in Paris. Or if you do this in Malaysia, my god, you're gonna get mugged. Or in the Philippines. Anyways, Japan's a safe city. I'll confirm that because I'm already walking in the street alone. A typical hotel in Japan, specifically in Kyoto, so it costs around this amount. It comes with a good bed, heater and an aircon, and a toilet that comes with a bathtub. And of course, Japan's high tech toilet. It has, it has that, that bidet, check it out, Japan is a very modern country, for those who are very used with tissue paper, there you go, and of course it comes with a castle, it comes with some tea which I just drank earlier, well it's got that safety box and a fridge, which has nothing yet, and everything is all in codes. Alright guys, my last day here in Kyoto. I'm headed to Kansai Airport. But before I head straight to the airport, I came across this uh, restaurant. It's got a very long queue. So might as well give it a try. They all look like the locals down here. So this must be a really good shop. Look at the queue, very long. So I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see if it's really that good. There you have it folks, my trip to Japan has come to an end. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
What I can say about Japan is that Japan is a real amazing country. It's a beautiful country to visit. It is a very high-tech, advanced country. I would say it's 10 years advanced than any other countries I've seen from all my travels. It's very organized, it's very systematic. People here are law-abiding citizens. What caught my attention is the parking. That is one. I, I noticed that people down here, when they are parked in a reverse order, everybody's parked in a reverse order. If they are parked inwards, everybody's parked inwards. That thing stood out. I, I don't see that in my country or in the Philippines or in Thailand. Everything's just mixed up. They want to park according to how they feel like, they'll just park like that. That's what stood out in this country. Second, the food down here is amazing, but what I can say about Japan is it's an ex it is an expensive country to visit. It is almost quite similar to Europe expense. One thing I can say about this country, there is a language barrier here. Not many people can speak English. I would say almost 90% of the people here don't speak English. So you're gonna find your way with sign languages and a little bit of common sense. I think it should be fine. You can find your way around Japan easily. All you need is just your phone, Google Maps, and of course some data. You'll find your way around. Uh, it was not hard for me. I managed to survive in Japan for four days, I'd say. I've been to Tokyo, Kyoto. Although it was a rush, it was a brief uh, holiday, but everything was amazing, guys. Like for me, I'm very energetic since I'm, I'm an athlete. I did my best. I went and see as much as I can see. And I've seen all the main attractions. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Share with your friends. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Japan. Maybe you can, for those who have visited Japan, maybe you can share your experience. Let me, let the viewers know or let me know what did I missed out in Japan. Uh, I didn't really go much to some temples because I've seen a lot of temples already in Asia. So I went mostly for all the uh, top visited areas in Japan and I get to share with you what I've seen. Anyways guys, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more from my travels. Cheers!